Probably gonna be a good episode, but it's the gonna plot! Be like, Damn. The plot looks Damn. Damn. Yes, sir! Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Classroom of the Elite starting now. What's going on, everybody? Rock the Elite. <laughs> the Nas T. Jumping into Classroom of the Elite. You already know who I'm gonna call on. Everyone raise your hand. Who wants to do today's recap? Yes! Favorite student. Okay. So just, so, just, just for right now. So, quick recap. <laughs> So we've got like three, maybe four different storylines that are kind of tying in together. The one girl who got confessed to, she's from class 1B, trying to help and stuff. She's got like 2 million in her account. For whatever reason, we just don't know what's Boy. going on there. She's, yes, so it has to do with either her snitching activities or it has to do with her maybe Blackmailing doing, people? Blackmailing people maybe, who knows? There's always, you know, the same girl who's always like fake that we know who, who tried to attempt the mm -hmm. uh, uh, assault song. thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, she seems oh, to be the I'm type sorry. that's in every classroom. That girl is that same girl oh, in that classroom. Oh, yeah, I like that. So, but she plays it off like she's actually innocent. She's like, oh, we got some great people and stuff. But she's not doing something completely wholesome because she's got all that money. How's she getting the money? We don't know. Then we got another storyline yeah, with the ball. other girl with the glasses who's actually saw Sudo get into the fight and stuff and can confess but doesn't confess. And we have this camera that doesn't work. We also have the I vision I like how of, you added that you think that the girl uh, may have instantly pushed her so that it would break or something like that. Yo, that's she, what I, I Not break it. I think she she purposely let her go to make her fall and stuff so oh. she would stop trying to run away from her. I it's, it's, it's very common, like if a girl runs away and stuff and she tries to move, it's one thing like you just let go immediately. It's another thing that she like pulls back and it's like you're waiting and then you let go. Like that's what I got, right? She held her down and she was like, oh, don't leave. And then no. as soon as she was like pulling and she's like, okay. Oh, like and tug of war. Like, yeah, yes. yeah, it sounds. Let, uh, it's, yeah. it's a tug of war thing. Like you're holding on. And then as soon as they're using all their momentum to push off, you're like, mm, you let go, let go a little bit and they she slip, fell. And then you counter pull. And you're like, Squid oh, games. I'm so sorry. No, so it could have been an accident. It's also like a, it, it, it could very well be nah, an accident. If you told me in this next episode, just like, oh. they replay it and they show us like her just slightly tripping her, I 100% believe it. I put nothing past this girl. Nothing past her. There, there's also the camera thing, the pictures, and the way she was kind of uh, dressed when she found out the situation was going on with Sudo. Then we have Class 1B boy also figuring out the whole thought process like, oh, Knowing Sudo and how he acts, we already kind of put that together, though. They did a lot of cliche comparison, and I thought that was I thought that was leading more towards somewhere. I'm starting to realize every every theme of one of these episodes, they're building, and you just have to catch what's happening. So when we mentioned in the beginning, we start the whole cliche of like, oh, the girl has somebody confess, fake boyfriend. Then you have the cliche of Sudo was an angry fighting guy. You just goad him into it, and whether he did it or not, the cliche is he started it no matter what. And then you keep running on. So back to what you're saying about this next girl that we see has a large sum of money. He's like, how'd you get all that money? And then you see the other shoddy with the camera looking undone. And yeah. you keep talking about cliches. And it's like, yo, so where are we going with this? It could so be a number, I like it, it couldn't just be her. It could be number of girls doing this kind of stuff. And we don't even know Making if money that is what it. they're doing. We don't. But based off the cliches that they're showing us and depicting and really talking about jutsuing throughout the episode. It I'm makes gonna you say, wonder. I'm gonna say makes you wonder. the cliche is that she's, you know, doing what she's doing, OnlyFans type of thing. I'm gonna say it's actually not gonna be that way because they've been taking down the cliches, like taking it apart. Mm, they've been like trying they, to deconstruct Yeah, they've the been cliches. deconstructing the cliches. Like these are the cliches that we know but it and we're hold. taking it apart because it's not actually what's happening. So the photos and stuff, it shows it how it is but it's probably not what we think it I see is what until you we mean. actually see it. Because he didn't plant a cliche of pretending to be the boyfriend. Pseudo might have actually been operating self-defense. So then whatever else we're being led to, maybe we're not supposed to believe that cliche either. I don't yeah. know. I, think, I just think it was I interesting like it. where they were going. Was I just think it was The cliche was that he was the bad boy picking on other people. Yeah. That was the cliche. The actual thing was 
He's actually yes. defending himself. That yes. was it. Yes. Breaking of cliches. Yes. He might be in that cliche in the first place because he's the person who always defends himself, he's got right? The mystery. And then he finds out that people tend not to support him. So he's like, you know what? I'm just going to be a lone wolf, right? Mm -hmm. So then one bad image, he keeps reinforcing it yep. because of his because behavior. Of his yep. And it just gets a, he just keeps digging a deeper yep. and, and deeper, deeper hole as far as his image. And you find out that, like, yeah, this is not who I am, guys. This is a survival mode. I think that was a good one. I wouldn't have saw them undoing their cliches until you guys uh, broke it down. I was quiet. Y'all a big brain on this one. I'll come back at Cobra Kai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back, man. Anyways, we're gonna, doing it to kick in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna jump in the classroom of the elite. If y'all haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Full reaction, full discussion is gonna be on our Patreon. Also, if y'all like our content, make sure y'all smashing the thumbs up, drop some comments, let us know what you guys think. Also hit the bell for notifications, then be sure to click on our video so you can stay on your recommended feed. If you're enjoying the Rock D Elite Classroom, go into the description, click on that Discord link so you connect to us and the community. All right, we're gonna jump into this reaction starting now. Hello, other people, let fun, yes, and let's No exit. <laughs> <laughs> Mate! Eduardo Volva, Personal Space Hall, Personal Space Hall. Some of the girls picked tails, flipped glasses, taking interesting pictures. Let's see. They are also inside school. Second step, Personal Personal Space Hall, Personal Space Hall. Because she's invisible. Interesting. That's actually very fascinating. She has the ability to penetrate people's social defenses. <laughs> so much good. Oh, God damn. You broke her money maker. Mm -hmm. Why are they outside of the school? Put a business away. You know that I gotta say, when, does she, she would have a cell phone. She would use a cell phone before that, though. Let's see the sauce. So, so, so. She didn't have warranty. <laughs> Oh, he's a perv. He's gonna look through that whole camera roll, bro. Yeah. Oh, she's not. Oh, he's literally saying that she's not good with strangers. And him, both. But yes, yes, yeah. He's literally like scum. I can't tell if he's actually scum or if this is just how she oh, sees people. Oh, you know what? That's a good point. Is this how she sees people or is he actually scum? He do look pretty mm, scummy, he's bro. Scum. I'm gonna say he's scum. But nobody else is having the same reactions as her. <laughs> You're right, though. He's scum. What's it matter? No, nah, he's definitely scum. Nah, he's definitely being creepy then, okay. He's reading it too. And she knows it. It's twofold. She already has people issues, and she's like, and this guy's scum. Yeah. It's a bad recipe. And she's blessed. That's awesome. part of the show is just amazing. The mask. Tough. Yeah. Mm -mm. She's too much. It's an intuition. Facts. 
クラスメートのためにごめんお待たせごめんねじゃあ今日はそろそろひらきかもこの後、綾野光一君の家に行ってもいいえ<笑> I like the collective groans in this room when she said can I come to your room and everybody's like oh god、no. Oh, I thought I heard collective groans. My fault.、Yeah, the homies groaned. It's her. Oh, it's just cosplay. It's not. She takes pictures, but it's just. <clears throat> oh, that's her. Oh, they're fake! She's a Clark, Kate, Clark Kent in it. Oh, she is cosplaying, bro. We were right, the pictures are her. That nigga did recognize her, that's what it was. The dude at the counter recognized her, or thought he might have recognized her. I'm gonna trust the dude at the counter and recognize her. That's what she does. She wants to find what everybody's doing. Yeah, she, you, bro. And the girl with the glasses looks down because she don't want no one to find her.、Mm -hmm. That's a nigga with real glasses.、Mm -hmm. Gotta clean them bitches. Look at the distortion on that. <laughs> Does she not even realize she's being possessed? She doesn't. She has no clue. This, this is my half face. So serving. Oh. He's like, what? Oh. Because he's being blackmailed, but she don't know that. Well, she might, actually. She might pick up on it. But、Maybe. she's not going to ask about it. Right. We don't know what she's picking up on, but she does know that something is weird. Oh, he messed them up bad, though. They tried to jump him. They didn't have an army. It doesn't、Touch、help if you don't have a scratch. I don't need to touch him on it. So、uh, <laughs> my ass. He was a crush's little sister. No one was, apparently. She can't bring out her full potential. Yeah, she's sweat. Yeah, she's out. Oh shit, here it comes. Wow, the aggressor. Look at this. No! Oh, yeah, yeah. It hurts. It hurts. This guy's a slave to himself. It Put hurts. Put him in check. Girl, come on. Look at him doing his own shit, bro. He's like, I admit I did this, but yo, that's like. He's, he's passionate. He's always He's passionate. just not saying anything. He's like, damn, you really can't stand up to your bro. It does seem that way. Come on. Oh. Oh, damn. He knows how to handle it, Shawty. Do something. He's just not going to stop. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I, he knows how to handle him. Dang. 
I should not even approve of this. This was awful. Don't do that. Come on, Johnny! Oh, Lord. Let's go. Hit him with it. Hit him with it, Shotty. Watch him call her out. How did he call you guys out? Got him. Insurance for what? That's a prepared response. Oh, yeah. Yo. Cat. Very common to me. You're trying to say he's that good of a fighter? Busted. Oh, she, she couldn't do this. Oh, they had her on a retainer, bro. She legit was just. Which version out. came in? Oh, she came in as a cute girl, okay. Or I guess as the mask. He was not ready. People staring at her and stuff. Look at this. Hey! You got to tell the whole truth, baby girl. Look at this girl. Does she have pictures? Does it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Facts. Oh, that's some real high level shit. No, it is. Something's going on. The pictures. Pictures. On the HD card. Oh no. SD. Oh no, they're gonna show all her pics. That's gonna show her pictures. This is probably gonna be a good episode. But the plot! Like, the plot looks damn. thick as fuck! Yes, sir! Oh. Can you shut up? Like, <laughs> he's just a hater. His pictures are <laughs> Yo, look at that. Look at them holding him and stuff. Got him. This That's school is nice fire. Room. This plot is I thought, fire. I, for some reason, I thought the picture was going to be on the panels for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares at this moment? But she's credible. No compromise. You don't have proof either. My, my yeah, he doesn't have proof either. Nah, he's trying to settle because he knows if this goes further, he's going to lose. Good lawyer. Yeah, he's going to go. That's a good lawyer, bro. Nah, that's a bad lawyer. No. Why, why is it not 2-2? Two, two? Everybody gets three days. He actually said the answer. Hell no. This nah, 7-3. Cut down to a 7 3, I say. No compromise. Uh, yeah, she doesn't really on, help her class. Say something. Though. She really doesn't help her class very well. 
Come on, shark, do something. Blood in the water, finish them. Hell yeah. With authority. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. So they use it against you. Why not both? There's the there's that, a that's what I'm talking about. The blood is in the water. She needs to stand up and take him to the fucking. The only witness. Please make the correct judgment. Look at your ass! Yeah, he's not learning. He's not learning. It doesn't help if yeah. he doesn't. That one side. Oh! There's gotta be cameras in this place, though. Uh -huh. We've seen cameras everywhere, right? Yeah, there is. Dramatic ass in the game. They gotta make someone admit guilt. Oh, he's talking about the raise the stakes! Expulsion? Yeah, he raised the stakes, wow. boy. He's really got way too much power. I'm gonna give you up today. Yeah, that would have helped. Yeah, she, she was scared. Nope. So the music. <laughs> the drama for no reason. Oh. That's not. Oh, is it, he's going to get him to say yes? That's what I heard. Confess. He's so casual. Oh my god, that's a good question. <laughs> He's so casual. He's like, yeah, maybe so. What else are we missing? That one girl who has the two million. Somebody got she one might, fucking point. She might know something. She might know something. <laughs> I don't know who has one point, but I feel bad for that motherfucker. <laughs> what do you think she might know? She got paid off to not say anything. Oh, we assume that she got paid off because she has a lot of money. Yeah. We just assume. But yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. She, they closed all the other ties, right? But not hers. She still got a whole lot of money and she helped Class D reach the conclusion they did, but nothing else, you know? Yeah, this episode. Mm. The local snitch collects on both sides, both snitching and not snitching. It went surprisingly for the school. I wonder what other things she lets go on in her. Maybe she's run a whole underground ring of plop. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? She's, push, she's, pushing plot, she's pushing plot, bro. She's pushing plot, son. I was seriously listening she's to pushing this guy. P, bro. <laughs> and then I was like, was plot. I still wrong? No. Oh, I have already seen this, but well, there so we go, bro. I can't with this show. I really can't. No, I don't think I've Sometimes seen this, this show makes me feel uncomfortable, bro. Because like, yo, y'all are doing this so intentionally. It's almost annoying. Aren't they in university now, though? They're at college. All these they shows take college. place in college. Yep. But they're going to college to get a job after this college. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm complaining with this show. Y'all made up all kinds of my type and I can't even... I am. You know, I came up with an epiphany the other day, right? What's that? I'm gonna say this the right way. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, right? Remember like, we used to watch like Smallville? Right, and it's like, you know, Kristen Lana Lang was a character. She was, you know, obviously, 
you know, in Smallville, we know what she was casted for, right? But she was 25, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pretend, like Record Ralph, that these anime women, right, are just actresses and they just take on these roles. But everyone that I saw today, yo. Hey, 22. Thank you. They just, they just did that role. Like when Kristen Krupp, she was like 25 doing her role. Tom Welling was like 28 when he first started off. Playing as... a damn 17 year old football player. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I think when we watch an extracurricular, yeah, she was like 25 doing the same thing, man. That's how I'm going to rationalize it. Because, all right, if if anyone's ready to say Lee is reaching, you think of Joe Taro from JoJo, you think that of Chad 17. from Bleach. Yo, that nigga is supposed to be 16. Chad is supposed to be 15, right? 15 or 16, yeah. yeah. That's what each go is right Yeah, there. that's a 30 year old. They just cast a 30 year old. No, Chad could be like 38, bro. They cast Chad could be my dad, bro. Thank you. So I'm like, that's that's why it makes it like I really reach him. I'm like, nah, I mean, they, they draw somebody I gotta and they tell slap you right something now, on them. Just from the side of self awareness, you're one line away from these lolly niggas. That's all I'm gonna say. No. Well, no, okay, no. At least these ones are thick, so no. Yeah, that's why I yeah. said they're, yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah. Literally. I'm just saying, that line of thinking, that line of thinking, oh, but she's like 3,000 years old. <laughs> it's like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you're like, one <laughs> line, you're like one line away from that. So that's I'm all like, I'm like. Because that means they went to, like for, for those people, they didn't. They're not going for the woman pool to get the role. The, the role casted. That means they're going to. You know where Boss Baby and them is chilling. Yeah. They went to Boss Baby's place. I was like, Hey yo, we're I got it, yo. I got it. So got nah, it. man, we we come from opposite spectrums. That's bad. <laughs> God damn. Anyway. is just so thick within this show. I, yeah, just, crazy. I can't it's like it's fucking. Crazy. You made oat milk and then put enough milk in that bitch. Just God, you can't even stir that motherfucker. It's just all crusted on the side of your bowl like you left it out all night. Yeah. Fucking A. Today's, I thought today's Hit story butter. had, the, the, the big thing that today's episode did for me, right, is I was thinking that we were gonna strategically like do like the smoking gun kind of a thing, but you didn't really get that. You just got people like standing up, right? Cause they don't have a lot of smoking gun except for that, like that little picture, right? But like this girl's brother has like absolute power to make a Yo, decision. He does. So it's like even if you prove your case, like by by what by 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 how far is he gonna just be like right or like just? Like what happens if he doesn't want to be I just? Think that's beautiful, there is... He kind of doesn't have to. Exactly. I think there is a there's the rule book, the handbook that everyone signed and stuff. I think for him to be where he is, he also had to sign a certain book. That doesn't mean he can't do what he wants. He can do certain things, just like get out of certain things. Like, you know, there's loopholes to everything, that kind of thing. But when it comes to stuff like this, like judgment and stuff, I think he has to decide based off evidence. That's why you ask them. I need hard defying evidence. Cause I think he knew they were right. And these guys were like doing their stuff. Cause they, it's, it's been a repeating thing for all the classes. They probably all have done this to each other once in a while. At so some point. He knows, yeah, like he's like, if it's not just brother this cliche, that, it's these guys going against this guy. But he's telling them, I need actual evidence. But why is he this. actual evidence? Because it's he should, he should right because now. Because he can't That's make that decision. Okay, yeah, and I'm glad, I'm glad. So, cause, cause to, like, he's he's actually trying understand. to be objective. He is. But at the same time, I think he enjoys playing into this class warfare shit. This is what they eat off of. If you, the way I look at it, that's why he's like looking at these reports like, ah, I thought this was gonna be good. I thought there was really some some down dirty shit going on. That thing came and plot correctly. This is boring. That's this like, is weak. Y'all niggas are weak down here. That's what I heard. They're with the shits, that's bro. That's why he said what he said when it finished. He's like, ah, it's the same thing every time. Every goddamn time. You guys time. are just, you think you're right. You think you're right. I need evidence. And then he confronts this guy and he's just like, oh, you think it's right? So you have evidence. Why didn't you show, like, that's so, why he was upset. He's like, I thought you at least would have shown me some you evidence. You of all people and I this, thought expected more from y'all. And he was just like, eh, I'm just here, guy. And this so, guy's like. That being said, right? What I, what, so take all that. And what I find interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Is like, you, to also a certain point, and this is Japan have a whole different system, you also need the evidence to convict, right? Yeah. So you don't really need evidence necessary to prove yourself guilty within a, you, you, they have to prove you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And there now is a reasonable doubt. Yeah. So I'm just used to, in my world, right? There's reasonable doubt and it's like, damn, I don't know who's telling the truth here. So you, we just have to dismiss this. You know, it's funny. But for them, they have, they're already almost like, 
The prosecution is going one to happen. Yeah, one of y'all is guilty, it, yeah. and then nobody tells me who. You're both fucked. That's that's what I'm like. That's interesting. You know what my next that point you're was? guilty, and you have to prove yourself innocent rather than you're innocent, ah, and they got to prove you guilty. I see. I that. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, yeah. I they're actually, definitely applying that here, which is totally unfair. But at the same time, because it's just a student council, it's like, you don't have to be fair, nigga. That's how we run the school. I think if that's the way they're doing it, I think when he said expulsion for both sides, that means only one from class D gets expelled and then three from class C would get expelled. So even if class D doesn't say anything, they'd still be winning on, winning on, on one side because three of their people would get, you know? I think there's pink girls, pink haired girls facing expulsion. For what? For potentially lying. Oh. I, I, I took it as everybody in that room may not be at the school, right? That's how I took it as. Oh, so it's three, three, okay. Four, I, I, I'm gonna say it's three or more. Three or more. It's four or three. You know where I was upset? At the end when she stood up after he made his little stupid two weeks for them, one week for, or one week for them, two weeks for him. I wanted her to come up and be like, yo, we could trade points. How about we'll give you guys 10 points if we drop this whole fucking thing. That's what I wanted to hear next. I went for that shark moment where she's like, nah, I'm awake now. I'm about to end this whole career, son. And she was just gonna like throw out some deal and then just squash it all. Cause they need a way out because they know they're lying. They need a way out because they're like, we don't have enough evidence to disprove this idiot's bad behavior. Although this time he's innocent, he has too much history going against him. I'm over here like, you gave me a plea deal. It was horrible. Here's my counter plea. Here's my counter offer. 10 points, we all go home right now, we squash it. We could do this over 10 points. We could squash everything right the fuck now. Cause y'all know y'all ain't shit and we know we don't got nothing in the tank. We just going off, we're gonna leave it up to this nigga, my brother, who don't fuck with me. Nah, bro. No, I don't. I don't. I That's think it would have like, been cool, but because shit. it's her, and and also the way the other team, the other class is running, if they even suggested a counter offer, they would have already upped the stakes. Like, okay, you're offering ten points. I want a million. We want a million for the class. Like, they would. I would like they to think put if you're operating up. from a position. The, uh, because Class C knows that they're lying, right? Class C Class knows- Class C knows they're lying, so but they would, offered, their their counter was supposed to be like, we're in the right still, even though we're offering this. Cause they're saying, your guy gets two, we Okay, agreed, one. right? So it's already so like, not even for a million, if still. I just want to take a small victory, if I know, like I would, so I'm operating out of good faith, right? So if I'm Class C and I know that I still want to win, but I know that I can't get the full win, you're right, I would ask for more than 10 points. If they offer me 10 points, I'm like, make it 10K, just to make it seem like, if you ask for a million, that's not operating in good faith. That's like a million, you know they're gonna a million, so you said a million, you're just trying to blow the whole deal. It's like, nah, 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 if you're class C, I would like to think this is a deal that you can't blow. If there's a way to get out of it, to make it seem like you still won, but take minimal loss, 10K would be a reasonable thing to say. So I agree with you. They should ask for more, but to ask for a million, I feel like that's in bad faith. You're just blowing up the deal, so you might as well just say no right away. I think it was smart just not to take the deal at all because they're innocent completely. True. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Full reaction and discussion is limited on Patreon. Also, if you like our content, smash a thumbs up, drop a comment, let us know. Also, hit the bell for notifications and be sure to click on our video so you can stay in your recommended feed. If you're enjoying the Rock Daily plot, the plot crew, because there's so much plot in this show. It's Chris Cruz. Yeah. Go into the description, click on that Discord link so you can join the rest of the plot loving community. Rock T. Lee. Edible nerd. Dinas T. Out. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please go ahead and do so. The link is in the description of this video, and I actually tweet back. Much love, Rock T. Lee. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions.